There's a theory so strange, so impossible, eh, that even physicists refuse to believe it at first. The idea that everything we see, everything we touch, everything we call reality, might not be real in the way we think. This is the holographic universe. To understand it, we need to go to the edge of a black hole. When something falls into a black hole, it doesn't simply disappear. Physics doesn't allow information to vanish. So where does it go? Stephen Hawking discovered that the information isn't stored inside the black hole. It's stored on the surface. A two-dimensional boundary encoding everything inside a three-dimensional space. In other words, a perfect hologram. Not an image, not a projection, a fundamental law of nature. Then physicists ask the question, if black holes work this way, what about the entire universe? What if our universe, what it, with its galaxies, planets, and people, is also a hologram encoded on a distant cosmic boundary? It sounds like science fiction, but then clues appeared. In 2017, researchers analyzing cosmic microwave background data found tiny fluctuations, patterns in the oldest light in the universe, that matched what a holographic universe would produce. The math lined up. The physics lined up. The strange part? The hologram version of the universe fit the data better than the standard model. And there's more. Quantum mechanics says reality is made of information, bits of probability. Gravity, according to new theories, may not be a fundamental force, but something that emerges from the flow of information on the universe's boundary. Space, time, matter, all built from data. If this is true, then the real world, the deeper reality, isn't the one we see around us. It's the one written on the surface of the cosmos, projected inward, to create everything we experience. The universe isn't an illusion, but it may not be what it appears. And somewhere far beyond our reach, on a boundary we may never touch. The true version of reality might already be written, 